um, which takes us on to week two, which is keyword research. Could you explain a little further about why you should use a thesaurus? Yeah, sure. It, it, it's a, it's a, it's, it gives you an opportunity to brainstorm further um, to actually develop specific categories that are relevant to your products and services. Um, there are quite a few um, categories within websites that um, aren't really um, appropriate or logical to search engines when it comes to actually helping them determine really what your website's about. So if you include um, words or phrases within your categories to describe them to users um, that, um, according to Theosaurus, have a logical relationship to each other, then you're help helping search engines really determine the relevance of your website then. And if they see a logical progression between your categories and a relationship between your categories, then they'll uh, find it easier to actually say, yes, your website definitely fits into this particular pigeonhole, so they'll know um, that it's more likely that they should rank your website for a particular um, set of queries. Well, well, that, that, that's the, that it's, it, yeah, it's explained a little bit better in, um, as we move on because we're moving on to keyword research and that'll actually help you um, better um, focus keyword phrases within your categories as well um, which will you know, uh, you know, kind of augment your, your, your category structure as well as your, your page structure and your keywords in there. Uh, so um, kind of keywords uh, research in week two. Um, what I'd just like to c cover is, kind of, first of all, the keyword phrase myth, um, the ideal length of keyword phrases, and um, the keyword phrases that you should have in three different areas in your website. You know, first of all, you need to have different levels of keyword phrases for your home page, your category pages, and your individual pages within each category as well. Um, so, first of all, kind of keyword phrases, you know, are the phrases that, you know, people type into search engines to try and find the type of service or product that you're actually offering. So you need to be focusing on the type of keyword phrases that people do type into search engines and researching that and targeting your website towards those particular keyword phrases. You know, lots of people think, you know, wouldn't it be fantastic to appear on the top of Google for a one-word keyword phrase, you know, if, um, um, you know, I had this website Destination Guide TV appearing at the top of Google for the word travel, you know, wouldn't be brilliant. Not necessarily at all, you know, because um, to begin with, you know, people would probably be looking for, you know, maybe hotels, just maybe other written travel reviews, just anything to do with travel, you know, apart from videos. So the conversion rate would be very poor to begin with, be attracting the, the, the wrong people or mostly the wrong people. Um, but also it would be really, really difficult and just about impossible to do it and I'd be concentrating so much effort in doing it, it probably would be counterproductive. I'd be, I'd be a lot better focusing on longer tail keyword phrases, they're called. Keyword phrases of two, three, four words long that attract less people um, but um, are targeted and much more specific and will give me better conversion rates. Um, so... You know, longer phrases basically convert better. You know, that's the be-all and end-all with, with keyword phrases. And there's no limit, to, of course, to the amount of pages that you can have on your website. Um, you know, you can have thousands of pages on your website. You can build up new pages, you know, every single day, every single week, you know. And it's good to do that, you know. It'll demonstrate to search engines that you're an evolving website, you know, and that you don't, you know, haven't just put up a few pages and just left your site. You know, one of the, the key things with search engines is they're, they're looking for websites to demonstrate that they're um, a timely, you know, um, appropriate authority on a particular subject. You know, and if they know that you haven't updated in two years, then they're less likely to actually rank you highly. Okay, so, you know, long keyword phrases really convert better. Um, but, you know, in terms of keyword phrases, what you should be doing is having just the one keyword phrase on each individual page. Now, there are different places within each individual page to place your keyword phrases, so um, um, I'll go into that and uh, I'll show you the best places to actually place your keywords as well. But um, um, the other thing to bear in mind is you're not just focusing, obviously, your web pages on search engines. You know, it's great, you know, um, to 
at target users, you know, because at the end of the day, it's users that are using your website, it's users that are, that are giving you the money um, um, in whatever way they actually buy your product or service. So unless your site is e easy to navigate for users, then um, you're, you're playing a very short-term game by, by getting your website up there with search engines. But um, there are appropriate ways to do it. There are easy ways to do it to target both users and search engines. Um, so let's go over these different levels of keyword phrases. And kind of home page keyword phrases is the first one. Um, I want to show you this website, um, buildyourownbusiness.biz, um, which is the business articles directory. Um, it's a website of mine that you know, started a few years ago. And um, I'm targeting the phrase business articles for the home page. And I'm thinking you know, business article is probably a good phrase to actually target. You know, but how do I know for sure that that's a good phrase to actually target? Well, I use this website called Word Tracker. Um, it's a completely free service. Um, the URL is freekeywords.wordtracker.com. And if you actually search for business articles using Word Tracker, then what happens is they show you how many people per day, on average, search for business articles on the internet. Here we see it's 352. So that's a nice number. Ideally, for your home page, what do you want to be targeting as keyword phrases that can give you a few hundred people per day? If it gets over, over a thousand, then it's getting trickier to actually get that keyword phrase to appear at the top of Google, at the top of different search engines. But if you've got a keyword phrase that you know, attracts you know, a few hundred people, generally it's a nice keyword phrase that will get, get you a nice number of people visiting your site, and it won't be hopefully too difficult to actually get yourself um, to the top page of a search engine um, for that particular keyword phrase. So ideally for your home page, what you want to be doing is going for a two-word keyword phrase that attract you know, a few hundred people to your home page. For your category keyword phrases, you probably want to change that into three-word keyword phrases. Now, the great thing about this website, Word Tracker, is you click on business articles, and it'll actually show you how many keyword phrases there are out there that actually incorporate business articles, the, the two words business articles. So it shows that 67 people per day on average search for business ethics articles, 54 people a day search for business law articles. Um, so there's lots of different categories that I can actually start to put together here that will incorporate keyword phrases, but also will be obviously the keyword phrases that people search for in search engines. So it's appropriate to actually target that on the website. So that's how I've gone about and, and structured the categories in this particular website. Um, you know, administration articles, change management articles, communication um, customer service. I know those are the kind of articles that, that people are searching for in terms of business articles, and that's why it's appropriate to structure the site like that. Okay, I'm um, looking at individual pages within a website, within a category. So if I was writing an article or having someone else write an article um, for the website um, on, say, a subject of business ethics, then what I'd do is I'd type business ethics into Word Tracker, and they'd give me different ideas like... Um, Ethics important in business, 47 people per day on average type in that keyword phrase. I'm thinking, okay, what I'll do is I'll, I'll click on that link there and I'll go and have a look. And it says, why has ethics become so important in business? Seven people per day on average type in that. Now, that would be a nice phrase to actually target as a keyword phrase for an individual page within that website, within the ethics articles um, in the business articles uh, in, in that particular category in the website. I could have an article called that, you know, that maybe includes that phrase within the article. I'll show you a few other places within the page that you can actually include that phrase to actually optimize it further. But that would be a nice keyword phrase to actually target for an individual page in your website. So, in, in summary, what you're looking at is, you know, for your home page, you're targeting keyword phrases that are maybe a few hundred um, searches per day. You know, category, uh, category pages within your website, probably roughly about 50 times per day. And then individual pages within that, probably just slightly less than 10. And it'll give you great chances of actually optimizing every single page in your website for keyword phrases and, and getting lots of visitors to individual pages in your website and not just relying on the one keyword phrase for your home page. Okay, so that's keyword research, a summary of that, you know. Um, it's, it's a myth to think you know, it'd be fantastic to, to be at the top of a search engine for just one um, word, you know, because it doesn't work, poor conversion rates, really hard to do. Um, ideal length of keyword phrases, you know, two, three, four word long, 
and you need to focus every single page in your website. Every page in your website needs to be different, have a different keyword focus. You know, you're losing vast amounts of traffic if you don't focus different keyword phrases on different pages.